ever since me and Magic started the band, I was pretty adamant that I'd be in charge of, well, the artwork, yeah. So, just because I've got such a perfect vision, and I know we've had a lot of people say, you know, it looks like Vic, Rattlehead, and Eddie, and that, but I say good, because they're the, that's the artwork that I spent my entire youth looking at, and thinking, that's what I want to, I want to be in that band, and I am, finally, thank God. So, um... The concepts are basically, you know, Bison came up with the idea of psycho intentions and I thought, well, what's our mascot going to be doing and what's he going to look like? So I contacted Matt Dixon and I said to him, look, we need a mascot. Um, originally, I wanted it to be sort of like a bony zombie thing, but it turned out to be our sort of complete skeleton looking guy with the finger. <coughs> and uh, I said, look, Psycho intentions. He's got to be carving someone up, surely. So he came back with that, and if you haven't seen it, it's amazing. It's the thing where he's carving up that. Well, it's uh, that actually, kids. So there you go. Um, biggest inspiration. Well, that is a tough question to answer, but I suppose I have to take it all back to when I first ever picked up a guitar, and it was Maiden. I bought the Maiden tape. And what I heard was absolutely fantastic. Who doesn't love Maiden nowadays, anyway? Um, and I just basically taught myself how to play guitar from listening to Power Slave. And then as the years went on, the sort of metal branches of the tree grew out. And obviously, nowadays it's more sort of black metal, death metal, and all the billions of other subgenres that there are. Um, but yeah, it's all down to Maiden for me. So. Favourite Ring of Fury track? I'm going to have to say Heaven Waits Hell Takes solely because that song incorporates all the bits that I personally really love about metal. It's got slamming intro, it's got groove, it's got a really good breakdown in the middle, it's got the dual harmony solo bit in the middle. Um, and it, it's a long epic song, you know, and it, it flows really well, so... Uh, well, yeah, of course we've got fucking videos out. we got Psycho Intentions, which uh, me and Matt Earl the heavy Matt Earl, that is, don't get confused, uh, kind of bodged together over a couple of weeks with his handy cams uh, in our little sort of metal shed in Tewkesbury. And it, well, I mean, I, I don't know how to edit films for shit, you know, so I, I've got a computer and I've got a little program on there. So I spent a couple of days. Uh, you know, twiddling around with all the footage we got, made it look sort of coherent as a thing, and it, only for the idea that we put it out just to make it look like we were doing something at the time. I mean, this is way before we did the Psycho EP. And, um, yeah, Matt rings me up and says, oh, it's on Scuzz TV. And I said, you what? Scuzz TV? What are they playing that for? It's rubbish. So anyway, that was on rotation, it was fine, and um, I still to this day fucking hate the thing. It's horrible. But um, some of you lot liked it. So And it was on, um, what was it called? Blank TV, an American uh, thing. But the version they had was actually the first encounter we had with Andy Pilkington. Sarge. Fucking love that guy. Honestly, he's done more for this band than I think I could ever imagine. But basically, he did... Um, a sort of mess around with the Psycho video, it made it look about 50 times better than me and Matt did. And uh, that was played in America, they loved it. And then um, he got in contact and said, Do you want to do some other videos? And I was like, Well, of course I fucking do, you know, and we all did. And the um, current video you can see is uh, available on our Facebook, uh, YouTube, um, anything I'm missing out? Reverb Nation, I guess. Uh, but yeah, World Detonation in the video, done by Andy Pilkington, Sarge Pilko, 
Um, absolutely fantastic, like beyond the Call of Duty. The reaction we've had in the last two years, it's been absolutely fantastic. I mean, the the people that we've met and the fans that come up to us and that, I mean, I'm in complete and utter disbelief the entire time. Like, I, I'm thinking, you know, why are you coming up to me? I'm like... Prep. I'm, Thank you, Matthew. Um, yeah, they're all fun. I mean, I love them all. Like, honestly, like anybody that likes our music, you know, I'm with them. Like, we're fa- we write music that we want people to listen to and that we want to listen to. And, you know, if they want to come and say, oh, I have a beer, whatever, you know, let's <laughs> fucking do it, mate. You know, so Bloodstock blew my mind. It absolutely blew my mind. Um for me personally, I mean, I know the other guys have been doing this shit for bloody years, but they're all 40, aren't they? But, um, yeah, like, it, it got there, warm welcome, the crew that was working on the stage couldn't do enough for you, like, they loaded in, loaded out. I mean, yeah, there was a little bit of legwork on our behalf, but whatever. Um, but the crowd, you know, bearing in mind a lot of these people had never heard of us before. Would absolutely fucking loved it. It was like immense. I couldn't believe it. And uh, got off stage. Uh, only a half an hour set, but got off stage. Go straight to the the bar just across the way. And uh, there were people, you know, kids coming up. They want CDs signed and photos and stuff. And uh, yeah, I thought I was asleep. But you know, having a mad dream. But it was like crazy. So. Yeah, Bloodstock kicked ass. And plus, I got to see a lot of my favourite bands. Niall. Can't remember your favourite <laughs> bands. <laughs> no, that was it. That, my, that was my favourite band. Yeah. <laughs> Album number two. Uh, the band really found its feet after Psycho EP. Um, when we came down to sort of like finalising the songs for World Detonation, you know, we were surprising ourselves. It was it was crazy, like you know we'd go into the studio and uh, Bison would come back and he he's a classic for going away and coming back again and going away and coming back, um, and I went up a couple of times myself uh, to do rhythm tracks, got those down. Um, uh, it took me a couple of attempts to get the solos right because I'm, I'm sort of very anal when it comes to you know sound and melody lines with solos but as far as album number two goes i mean it's right in itself i mean we've got tracks coming out of riffs tracks vocal ideas names for songs um it, you know it really is just working for itself now and we're just sort of riding the wave of what started in world detonation <laughs>